what is the exact revenue that you do every month oh so five figures or six figures i think it's uh, i would say something in between <laughs> Hey folks, you are most welcome to the Rising Mean Show, and here we have an amazing uh, speaker, and who is into the marketing industry. We have Anju Mandari over here, and she is an amazing social media marketer. Here, yeah, Anju, you are most welcome to our show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Awesome. So, my audience would like to hear a little introduction of yours. Yeah, sure. So my name is Anjum Mandari. I am a social media marketer as well as Instagram growth coach. So I started, but after college, like I used to work in a nine to five corporate job, but definitely was looking for more uh, financial freedom and location based freedom, uh, which is why I started to look for other options because corporate was something that was definitely not. for me that that specific area was not resonating with me i didn't like the kind of work that i was doing so i started to look for options i started to see the way out i invested in myself i found uh, social media marketing because i how um, you know i was interested in instagram and the things uh, that goes into instagram content creation for that matter and i invested in myself invested in a mentor uh, got coached and started working as a freelancer initially before starting my own business uh, worked with several businesses initially as their social media manager created content for them and all that stuff and then uh, you know started my own business even now i work as a social media manager for some of my um, older clients uh, but my focus right now is to coach people on how they can leverage the power of instagram for their businesses awesome awesome so that's interesting and you know uh, i believe uh, let me share it with my audience that we have prepared a set of question over here but i'm sure uh, if i just come up with the random questions with you you know i bombard it on you so you would be happy to answer them sure that is not a problem at all right perfect so actually my audience is exactly sitting over here and their ears are waiting to listen what is the step by step guide to become a social media ma- manager oh okay uh, that's great so uh, you know if at all you want to become a social media manager the first thing um i would say you need to do is pick a platform because when you say social media manager there are different different social medias platforms available there is twitter there is pinterest there is you know if you go overseas there is tiktok there is instagram there is facebook so there are different areas and you know even though you can repurpose content across all of these platforms definitely there are some changes in the strategies and everything that go behind it so you can definitely try and pick a platform initially which you enjoy the most if you want to you know niche down and specifically do one social media otherwise i have also seen some uh, virtual assistants who prefer to do two or three platforms together as well uh so you can pick a platform or pick two or three platforms that you enjoy and that you're good at and then you know start uh, if at all you're good at already if you have invested in a mentor and you know how things work then that's definitely great start looking for clients immediately you know every time people ask me how do i get started i don't have clients at the moment and i you are your biggest example so start working on your own account start building your own account that is the um, you know best example you can give out to your initial beta clients or you know any clients that you start working together with start with family and friends as well who will trust you with their accounts work for them for some while collect some testimonials and then just get started okay? there is there is no definite procedure or set in stone steps that you have to follow uh just get put yourself out there and you know start working and i'm sure you're going to do great awesome awesome so actually you know let's say people have become a social media manager but what they struggle with most i strongly believe you must have the idea that is getting the clients get onboarding their clients into the house right so what yeah. is the way to get the clients let's say if i am a social media manager i am struggling to get a client and i have a particular niche that i work in 
so how can i work in that industry to bring in that client yeah that, that that is definitely a struggle at least in the initial days when you're just starting out i can totally understand that uh, but you know the most common mistake that i see people make initially i did that too okay to put all of your eggs in one single basket okay you're just sitting out there uh, let's say you're creating content on instagram and hoping that you know people will see my content and then come towards me so that is just one source of your revenue generating activity or the client generation okay the lead generation i would say but have multiple sources from where you can get clients okay maybe you're networking in some facebook groups right maybe you are generating clients through your word of mouth maybe you're generating clients through your obviously your content is definitely and should be the source because um your content should be doing the work for you and getting you uh, the inbound leads and inbound clients that is for sure but don't just sit and wait there try to source out try to branch out into different areas from where you can get clients right so that is the number one mistake i see people making is just focus only on one thing even i did that initially because you know it's a rookie mistake you are starting out you think okay it's going to happen from one thing but that's not the case try and branch out try to network as much as possible i cannot uh, begin to stress this fact okay networking is the most important part i don't uh, you know there is no specific key. okay you have to network in facebook you have to network in linkedin there is no such thing pick out uh, whichever you feel comfortable with which whichever you feel enjoying you you enjoy the most even in the uh, you know now because of covid there are no you know, networking events might be happening in your cities but maybe it will start happening now right start attending those events the network the connections that you build the power of those connections is like immense i cannot tell you how many clients i have generated only by the network that i've created with them awesome so uh, the other thing you know let's say if somebody is reaching out to a client a particular client or sorry not i would not say the client the prospect on the linkedin somewhere in the facebook or the instagram so what is the perfect way to do the cold reach outs so is there any way so that they can get started and get the client yeah see actually uh, when it comes to outreach uh, when you see in like let's take an example of facebook group you see like, let's say you've joined some facebook groups and there are people who are asking questions or as simple as they are just they are they might be just asking for a specific question they might not be telling you like i am looking for certain uh, you know person to help me in this job but even if you just go and reach out to them and answer their specific question say i just saw this question that you had asked in the specific group so i am this this person i am expert in this situation and this this is how i want to answer your question or this is how you should be doing it so then and there you have built a connection with them you are then and there they are going to trust you as an authority who knows your stuff so you know whenever you are doing cold outreach uh, don't be um, you know like the things that i see that it me is you know it is very obvious that you are trying to reach out to me and say you know this is the thing that i'm trying to sell or i have this specific workshop would you like to attend it i have this specific you know uh, master class would you like to attend i'm like i'm thinking like i don't even know who are you i don't even know what you do i don't even know what this master class is about we have not built a connection i don't even know your name if you're reaching out to me in the first the first time so don't do that mistake because if you reach out to a person immediately saying this is the thing that i'm selling by it nobody will and it definitely puts you in the sketchy list uh, puts you in the you know they'll start thinking you as a spammy person who's just you know reaching out to sell stuff of course so i think that is the one mistake you should be avoiding and and when it comes to cold outreach i think it depends on how you feel about it okay some people uh, absolutely don't like reaching out uh, through cold dms through cold messages through cold emails at all they feel like that is not their area so it's totally fine it is you don't have to do something that you don't feel comfortable in you can try it if you don't feel good if you don't if you feel that you're being sleazy and things like that then you can totally uh, remove that thing because cold emailing or cold messaging is not the only way that you can generate leads there are several other things that you can do all right so uh, 
I feel like, you know, uh, this is something what people have been committing the mistake, right? Reaching out yeah. to someone directly and directly pitching their services to them, right? So yeah. I feel like, you know, there are, a, there are a couple of people, they say that you reach out to them and talk about what exactly you are there for, right? Why to waste time? So what are your thoughts on this topic? so why you like people tell ask them directly why they are here for instead of you know so when it comes to uh, conversations let's say let's take an example of webinar okay one one person i saw she was doing this webinar and she was, she was i saw two people actually one was doing the master classes multiple master classes like the live and some other person was doing a webinar but both of them were clear that that at the end of this webinar i am going to Uh, show you my product i am going to uh, give you uh, show you the thing that i'm selling so you know don't come inside the workshop if you have the mindset uh, that you know definitely she's just doing the webinar to sell us stuff at the end so if at all you have that mindset then this workshop is not for you because yes i am going to sell my stuff to you at the end if you, if you feel you are a good fit you can buy it otherwise no other than that there is definitely value for you in the rest of the webinar right so she was very clear since the beginning that yes there is going to be some selling done at the end i think which to some people is like uh feels beneficial uh you know because they want to avoid the people who are coming in with the mindset that everything that they are going to get here is for free okay so as soon as you tell them something is selling and they have to pay something for it they are completely withdrawn and you know all of that things happen so i think that's also a good approach there is no uh, wrong in it um, and even where some for some of my clients which earlier i used to uh, do the cold outreach and everything some of them like directly they used to prefer asking okay so is this the thing that uh, do you do or is there, do you have any course is that uh, where this conversation is leading to okay so it it always comes down to what you are comfortable doing and you know how you feel leading through that sales strategy all right so uh, let me just see what you have shared now uh, i'm sorry to uh, see you in the phone directly <laughs> let me share that now i'll jump into the question that you have shared those questions to be answered over here let me just have a look and find what is exactly being an introvert person all right so yes this is the also uh, kind of one barrier when it comes to reaching out to the people being an introverted person how did you get comfortable speaking on camera is like this is something what is legit question over here you know so i believe this is the same story as you and the people who are watching us they also have the same issue right so what yeah. are your thoughts in it so definitely like i am if you see me if you meet me in real life i am the most introverted person you will see uh, so i don't make conversations until the opposite person comes to me and speaks and like yeah i'll i'll respond but i am not the conversation starter i don't you know i am the complete introverted person so for me showing up on camera initially for my business and speaking to just a device you know it was it was very uncomfortable i felt like you know i'm doing what even i'm doing is that even correct what i'm saying is that even approachable so initially i used to do only the static posts and didn't uh, you know explore the videos or stories or anything for that matter i completely abstain from it but sooner or later i started realizing that when people see you on camera when people see you speaking when they are able to connect with you with your personality and the trust building process is much more quicker because you know there when you say when you said it in the earlier of this uh, episode that with social media managers when you say social media managers there are so many social media managers right so why would a person prefer to work with me and not some other person how is that setting me apart like if you are seeing me on video a part of you will be relatable will start relating to me in my personality you know the the way i deliver content and everything so i soon realized that you 
have to show up for your business in this era and you know video marketing is starting to get the boost and you have to do it so i started slow okay i didn't make videos right away for my feed i didn't make long videos for my feed initially i started with stories because they are smaller videos they don't require much commitment they don't require for you to remember uh, loads of things so i started slowly on stories initially even on stories i just posted my photos okay not even videos i didn't speak initially then slowly i started speaking on stories one or two sentences until i started feeling comfortable hearing my own voice seeing myself on camera and then you know i trust me the best thing that i did was allowed myself the time to do it i didn't rush into things as like okay i have to do it in a month i have to do it in 15 days i have to be able to shoot a you know lo- one hour long video in just 10 days i didn't do that i gave myself time until i felt comfortable in it and started progressing slowly if you see my videos initially on my instagram page you will see that i was not confident at all you can't even hear me speaking my voice is so low you even if you put out you know full volume even then you can barely hear me i am speaking so slowly just <laughs> to avoid thinking that okay maybe someone will listen to me in my own house okay but that is not the case now okay i have allowed myself time to be comfortable with it so that is the most important thing i would say and start slow initially and that is definitely how i am feeling more comfortable doing it now maybe after almost 2 years all right awesome that's that's inspiring right and that's what the people should do like they should allow themselves to at least try the things out right and unless you do not try it out uh, it's not going to work for you exactly so uh, you know i believe uh, the session is uh, getting extended and we would not make it extended we would surely do the next session uh, till the time you know uh, my audience is really excited you know to know the revenue part so what is the exact revenue that you do every month oh so i don't know if it's like five figures or six figures i think it's uh, i would say something in between <laughs> so it's definitely uh, more than what i did in my corporate job like a lot more i was stuck in 30000 35000 yeah, indian rupees when i did my corporate job and maybe was scaling to some 40 50 when i was quitting uh, you know my corporate job but i definitely made three times four times more than that right now all right awesome so i can say that uh, is that a uh, five figure or six figure in the inas i think i think it's five i think it's five <laughs> is, is it into the inr or in the dollars no not dollars of course dollars i have a long way to go <laughs> right <laughs> so right now right now because i see that you have been doing amazing and that is why i thought to bring you on my show so that my audience uh get inspired so i'll do one thing i'll uh, put a link in the description so that they can connect with you they can learn more from you that how they can uh, you know avoid the mistakes that they are committing in their initial days right so thank you so much to my audience as well for being over here watching us over and over again coming to the channel subscribing to it and sharing the video to your uh, loved ones and thank you so much to my uh, respected guest over here as well thank you so much for being over here and inspiring my audience adding value to them thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much for having me again